Hey y'all, Mike Peace. Welcome back to my shop. At least I hope you're coming back. Uh, today we're going to talk about the various kinds of drill bits that are out there that uh, you can use for wood turning projects. And I'm going to uh, show, tell you a little bit about the pros and cons and, and tell you what I use and, and how I use them and why I use them. First, let's talk about spade bits. Okay, spade bits. They're used primarily for drilling at high speed. Uh, typically with a hand drill, they, they're great for, they're, they're fast, they're, they're cheap, they don't cost much money, they're great for drilling through softwood like pine studs, so they're favored by uh, electricians and, and plumbers. They center real well because of this, this spiky uh, hole uh, for wood turning projects. One of the reasons why they, they're not real good, but just, just one is these are so long they'll leave a, an indentation at the bottom of your your hole. They leave a very rough hole, uh, rougher than we typically want for wood turning. They're also not very accurate. I mean, they're sized, but they tend to wallow a little bit. They're just not going to be as, as accurate as, as some of the others we're going to talk about. The hole may not be very accurate. A regular twist drill bit will run a hole much closer to the nominal size than you'll get with a spade bit. You can also sharpen them fairly easily with a, with a file. And what do I use them for in wood turning? I don't. I never use spade bits on, on the wood lathe. Now let's talk about twist bits. They can drill in wood and they can drill in metal. Twist bits. They come in all different varieties. They can uh, turn wood, uh, drill holes in wood. They can also drill holes in metal. Uh, earlier they were made out of uh, carbon tool steel. Nowadays they tend to be made out of high speed steel. Uh, I, think, I think all of these that I've got are are probably high-speed steel. Uh, not so sure about this set from China, but that I inherited from my father-in-law. But high-speed steel is, is much improved over carbon steel because they won't get uh, hot and lose the temper. They'll get hot, but they won't lose the temper from uh, typical drilling operations. The, the one downside is, or at least something you've got to be aware of, is they, they will wander when starting to drill, so it's essential to make a small divot. They tend to tear the wood grain when you're drilling in larger, larger sizes. However, I do find these larger sizes nice for uh, some of the larger oddball uh, sizes that I don't have uh, Forstner bits for, like a 13, 13 16 uh, I don't have too much occasion to drill in metal for any holes this large, but uh, they'll handle it if, if I do. Now, the, they tend to tear the wood grain when drilling larger than one quarter inch holes. And they also tend to clog in the flutes and burn from uh, friction. If you've got a drill sharpening jig, they're uh, easily sharpened. The shanks on the larger drill bits tend to be uh, cut down to a half inch to fit in most, most common drill chucks. Now, what do I use them for? Well, I... I use them uh, sometimes for drilling on the lathe in, in many instances. A lot of times I use them for hand drills since bread, point, uh, bread points tend to be kind of grabby. Here's an example of a very large one that actually uses a Morse taper instead of a drill bit. I really like this for drilling holes in uh, hollow forms. It'll drill a 7 inch hole. It's 1 inch in diameter and as I mentioned I think it's, it is high speed steel. Uh, they do tend to get kind of pricey. I got a good deal on it years ago, so I'm, I'm reaping the rewards every time I use it. Let me show you a couple of com uh, very convenient uh, drilling accessories. This is a metal drill guide. I've picked these up for free at various places. Uh, they're very handy for sizing drill bits and, and holes. Uh, the other uh, trick that's very handy is this plumber's reamer. I've showed this trick before. Works great if you've got a small hole that you just need to open it up just a little bit when you're fitting two pieces together and the hole is just slightly too small. So that's a great trick. Uh, another item I don't use very often, but every now and then when I want to chamfer the opening of, of a hole a little bit, I've got this hand jiggy, and, and you can put different sizes uh, of, of these. What do you call it? Okay, now let's turn to brad point bit, bits. They work great in wood, not so much in metal. All right, let's talk about brad point uh, bits. They're some of my favorites. I've had this set for over 15 years. I got it woodcraft made in Germany, very, very high quality. 
Um, the one thing about brad point bits is they're great for working with wood. They don't work on metal. Um, they, they tend to center in the hole, so I, one of my favorite uses for this, this particular 5 16 inch drill bit is for drilling a hole in a bowl blank for using a woodworm uh, screw. But the way they're designed, the, the sharp point tends to keep it from wandering while you're drilling and the two uh, sharp kind of fangs uh, out on the end make for a very, very clean hole. The brad point center the hole and the sharp dog ears allow it to drill very precise clean holes in your board stock uh, as well as an in grain while a twist bit has a tendency to wander when you start uh, drilling. Now one of the tricks when you're using it is to occasionally uh, pull it out uh, maybe a quarter of an inch and the smaller bits will, uh, with smaller bits, and they'll often clear the chips and prevent the heat buildup. They do create a cleaner hole than a twist bit. They cost more than twist bits. They are not ideal for enlarging existing holes since they can't center uh, very well once the hole, uh, you've already got a hole drill because you don't have anything for that point to uh, center on. And they are uh, difficult to sharpen. You can get them in what you might call jobber uh, length. These are pretty typical. You can also get them longer for drilling longer holes, although frankly I've had very little use for these. I bought them before I actually got into wood turning. Uh, I did take one of them and used it. I had a friend that uh, took the brad point off and turned it into a twist drill bit because it was too grabby. I used it as a uh, centering uh, or a depth, a depth drill. But this is 3 8 inch. Let me tell you, for me, 3 8 inch is a little too large for a depth drill. It's too hard to hold on to. I find a, a quarter inch uh, a much better size for a depth drill. One of the things I like to use brad point uh, bits for is for eyes for certain types of projects, such as on this, this night where I used a 1 8 inch drill bit where it, it looks like a pupil, creates a shadow line. I uh, also used a quarter inch on this. Derek Wiederman style figure that I did in a workshop with, with Derek a few years back. Also for this pull toy I made for my granddaughter years ago. Okay, Forstner bits. They work great in wood, they work great in plastic, they don't work in metal. Forstner bits are obviously uh, designed for cutting wood, not for metal. They cut a very clean hole which makes them specially nice for a lot of, uh, a lot of wood turning projects. They have a flat bottom, uh, but it, it'll leave a very small divot in the bottom, but for most projects that's not an issue, and if it is, you can always clean it up with a round nose scraper. It's not a replacement for hollowing an end grain hollowing like in a box. It just, it just uh, too much work. When I talk about, there's two basic styles. There's most of these uh, are, are the style where it has, it has teeth which does great for cutting in grain. The other style is is got a flat sharp edge and it works better in uh, boards and, and not as much for wood turning projects. Get one with the, the teeth, so especially if you're doing uh, pepper mills you want one with the teeth where you're doing a lot of in grain. What do I use it most for? Well, drilling larger holes. Uh, also when I'm uh, making threaded glue blocks and I need a very precise hole cut in, uh, cut in the wood uh, for uh, tapping. A handy accessory for drilling larger holes with these brad point uh, bits is, uh, for example, if you're drilling very long pepper mills, even though if you're drilling from both directions, uh, you'll need an extension. Now let's talk about centering bits. They're used primarily for metal, but they've got purposes in wood turning as well. Another specialized bit are these centering, centering bits. They're used primarily for metal, but they also work well for uh, centering where you might have grain that the drill will have a tendency to, to follow. They, they, they make great starter holes, uh, whether you're drilling on the lathe or, or off the lathe with a, um, a electric, electric drill. They're, they're not very expensive, so they're handy to have in your toolkit. You can find these on my Amazon shop as well as uh, most of the big box stores. The centering bits are especially helpful when you're trying to make a screw chuck 
uh, such as these or a screw mandrel for a chest man. There's lots of good uh, charts out there on drill, safe drill speed, but this may give you some indication. As some of y'all know, I've got an Amazon shop. I've got a link in the, the show notes. Uh, disclaimer, I get a small commission on anything you might buy within 24 hours after uh, going in, into my shop. If y'all miss that video where I talk about the ins and outs of drilling projects on your lathe, you can click on it here. And just remember, I welcome your comments. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.